Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm making an accordion style mini album from start to finish. Here is my completed album. I'm using black cardstock, 65 pound weight, and I cut five pieces to five by 10, and I'm scoring them in half at five inches. I am going to fold these in half and give them a good crease with my bone folder. You can do as many pages as you want. And like I said, I did five. So I'm going to use some wet adhesive to glue these together. You can by all means use tape runner or double-sided adhesive. I like to use wet glue in case I have to pull them up and readjust them. The wet glue allows me enough time to do so. And if you use tape runner, you will tend to rip your paper if you try to adjust it. So I just like using wet adhesive and I'm adding adhesive to both the top pieces of my paper. That way when they're glued down, I know that they're gonna be glued down very well. I wanna make sure all the corners are glued down. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave pockets in your album by gluing the back piece to it as well, but leaving the center open if you wanted to leave um, a pocket on top to pull a tab in or out, but I did not do that with this album. So now for my covers, I'm cutting two eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper down to five and a quarter. I'm leaving the 11 inch side at this point because I wasn't sure how long I wanted it to be. And now I'm overlapping them with one half inch tape. So at this point, I'm just kind of figuring it out. I've never made an album quite like this. So I was figuring out my measurements and I sorted at five inches, five and three eighths inch, 10 and a half and 10 and seven eighths. And then I decided to eyeball how much of a flap I wanted to come over. So in the end, when I was done, my entire cover piece was five and a quarter by 13 and one eighths of an inch. I'm using a Bracket Borders One Die by Spellbinders and I'm going to give my flap a bracket edge. So I'm just gonna use my Tim Holtz centering ruler, measure out the center and then tape it down to make sure it doesn't move and run it through my Sizzix Big Shot. And this gives me a beautiful edge to my flap. So I'm just folding along all those score lines and giving them a good crease. This one, last one was a little hard because that's where the paper doubled up, but I was able to just press it down. And now I'm just going to erase my little pencil line and make sure that my book fix, fits in there well, which I was really happy with how it fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it down, again, using some Scotch Quick Dry. And as you can see, I'm not shy about my glue. I, I wanna make sure that once this is adhered down, I don't have to worry about this book coming apart. So I'm just really going to press that down. I'll use my brayer here. And I was really happy with how that turned out. So now I'm going to add some magnets. And as you can see, they're broken, but they're really strong magnets, so it doesn't matter. And what I'm doing here is adding some VersaFine ink on it and pressing it down to the other side. And it leaves a mark on my paper so I know where to add the other magnet piece too. So I will let those dry a little while and in the meantime I cut out my paper. I'm using the Authentique. I cut all my papers down to four and seven eighths of an inch by four and seven eighths. That'll leave me a little black border and as you can see I cut two more pieces of paper using that same bracket edge. That way they can match up on that flap. So I will adhere those down. I'm using some double-sided tape, but I will also add wet glue around the, the edge just to make sure that it is really holds well. And th that will hide my magnets as well. For my front and back cover, being that my covers are a little bit larger, I cut those pieces down to five and an eighth by four and seven eighths using my ATG I will adhere those down. And I will go ahead and at this point embellish my book. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I hope you stay tuned for the rest of the video. And 
I'll put links for all the products used down in the description box. Please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts and check out their new product that they've recently added. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy.